This is the fourth episode of our series training the young German Shepherd puppy Maverick. What we're going to be introducing today is the climb command, low crawl, walking forward and backwards in that position, and the stand command. We're gonna start with the climb, it's the easiest one by far. I'm using a pet cot bed, I really like this company, they're not a sponsor, I just like the beds, they're very sturdy. I will put a link in the description. And all we're going to do is guide our dog onto the bed, once the dog is on, we're going to reward. If you have a dog that's a little hesitant, when they put one paw on, reward that. When they put two, reward that. If you have a dog that's a little bit more confident, like my puppy, once they jump on, boom, give them the treat, and we can guide them back off and reward them. At this point, since we introduced markers in the last episode, if you want, you can mark these behaviors I probably won't, I'll just guide the dog on, give him a treat, guide him off, but maybe I will. And if I do, I'll probably use the terminal marker. For me, is free, release plus reward, and I'm gonna be giving the dog the reward from my hand, so I'll use the primary terminal marker. Then we're going to do the crawl. So with the crawl, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can guide your dog into the down position, use your additional hand to keep the dog down and just get them to crawl a little bit forward. You have to make sure your dog can walk backwards, which we went over as well in the other videos. So then we're gonna show the cue to go backwards and we're gonna keep the dog again in the down position as we move them. Another fun technique is to bring the dog into the center and use our body to keep the dog in the down. This is a little bit more difficult. It could put some pressure on the knees, but if you wanna be creative and you enjoy doing these fun movements, this is a good one. So what we're going to do is we're gonna drop our, high, our hand behind our back like we're doing the through command. When the puppy comes through, we're gonna cut the dog back, step forward with our right leg and drop into the down position. This is gonna make our dog go down. Then when we move forward, we're just gonna walk forward and we're gonna keep our hand low, which is gonna keep the dog into the down position and we can do the same thing going backwards. So this also helps quite a bit. I'll show you how that looks. And then the last one is the stand. For the stand, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna tuck my hand up the same way that we present for getting our dog to walk backwards. And what I also do, let's say I have the puppy right here, head is facing that way. I'm gonna tuck down towards the puppy's chest. Nose goes to the chest, butt will usually pop up. And if I need to, I can use my hand to assist the puppy's back end to go into the stand position. Once the puppy stands, I can give them the reward. We can also incorporate this in with our sit as well as our down. So you can have your puppy sit, back into the down, back up into the stand, into the sit. And you can really have a lot of fun with it, getting the dog to understand how to use their body to get into these positions and how you can use your physical cues to manipulate your dog's body position to get that picture that you want. So let's get Maverick out and get started. All right, so first we're gonna do the climb command. So I have some treats in both hands. I'm gonna guide him up. Once he's in position, I reward, and then I'm gonna reward him when he comes off. So I can say free and reward that way, free and reward that way, or we can just give the treat really super easy. So now I'm gonna show you the low crawl. So again, we're gonna bring the dog into the down and I'm just gonna have him crawl forward and give him the treat. So again, have him into the down. I'm keeping my hand there so he doesn't stand up. And you're not gonna get a lot of uh, paces in the very beginning. Just a couple is all we need. Very nice. If we ask for too many in the beginning, what ends up happening is they get lazy and they'll stand up. So now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get them to walk backwards. So we're gonna bring it down. I'm gonna show him a slightly different picture. See how he shifts back a little bit. And again, I'm keeping pressure down so he maintains the down position. We're helping them quite a bit in these early stages. Now let me show you the one that I really enjoy doing. Where we bring him through, we cut back, and then we duck. See how my body is keeping him in the down position. So I gave him the treat there, so I'm gonna reset. Boom, let's go back this way. And now I'm gonna move forward, see how he's staying in the position. Very nice. And we can get him to do that as well when we have him go backwards. So I'm gonna close my hand and shift back. Very good. So we're removing the possibility of the dog making a mistake. So this movement can take a little bit of time to practice. I mentioned Nino before on my channel. I've been studying his work. The guy is awesome when it comes to training dogs. Nino from STS Canine, go check out his work. I learned this movement from one of his videos where he brings it back just like this. So I like to give credit where credit is due. And so we're gonna move forward, get the dog to crawl forward or move back to get them to shift back a little bit. 
So we have the last exercise, which is the stand. So again, we can incorporate the sit with the down and then back up. So there we go. You see how he stood up? So I'm gonna show you how it looks first without the secondary hand. So let's put the dog into the down first. I'm gonna close my hand, bring it up, and then boop, once he pops up, I'm gonna give him the reward. Very good. Good job, buddy. And you can mark this too if you want, if you want to use the markers since we introduced those in the last episode. So let's get him into the down position. I'm going to reward that down because he's anticipating me bringing him back up into the stand. Boom, very good. And like I said, we can also help them with these movements if we want. Very good. It's really about getting your dog used to doing these movements from each position. So I like them to be able to go into the stand from the sit and he's shifting his back end a little bit. We can work on that by using a shaping box, which we'll do in a future episode. I do have an episode on it currently, but we'll do a shaping box with him as well because it is normal for them to start shifting their butts a little bit. So now after we have that, now we incorporate everything we've been doing so far when we're working with our dogs. We can have them go on the climb, we can say, get it. And we can throw a piece of food. We can have them do a spin and a spin and then we can bring them back into the center. Yee, very nice. We wanna make the training fun. We can have them go through the legs. Excellent, and then we can have them come through and then wow into the down, let's get him to walk forward a little bit in that crawl. Very good. Bring him into the heel position, have him go into that sit and then whoo, very nice movements. Excellent job, my little man. And we can get in some of those sits. Remember, we wanna get it next to the leg. Very good. Have fun, all done. And when you end the session, your dog should want more. So in this video, just to recap, we introduced the climb, the off, low crawl, forward and backwards, and the stand command. Work on this, practice makes perfect, and I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>